Now we're going to look at graphs of functions, a visual method for determining whether a graph of a relation is a function is called the vertical line test. And in double asterisks I've got if given an equation where y is raised to an even power, you will not have a function. And I'll try and talk about that a little bit later. So if I use a vertical line test on these graphs, that is not a function. Because remember by definition, no two different ordered pairs can have the same x value. Those two points will have the same x value. So if I hit it in more than one place, it is not a function. Now in B, try as you will, but you only can hit it in one place. So this is a function. Maybe I need to write out not a function on this one. What about C? What do you think? This is not a function. What about D? Try. I only can hit it in one place. This is a function. Once you do E and F, pause me. Not a function. This is a function. That's called the vertical line test. If you can hit it in more than one place, it is not a function. It says graph the following in your calculator and determine if y is a function of x. In order for you to put graphs in your calculator, they have to be in the form of y equals. I already have some in there. So I've got to solve this one for y. So if I solve it for y, I've got x squared plus 7 is equal to y. So I put in my x squared plus 7. Let me graph it. I'm going to change my window a little bit so I can see a little bit more. So I'm going to make that a negative 5. Because my graph was way, way up here, I need to get a larger y values down here. So let me put 15 there. That's called a parabola. That is a function. The next one, go back to y equals, clear, x minus 1, ask it to graph. Now I did mess up my window and for me to fix that, if you'll do zoom 6, the standard window, that's negative 10 to 10 and negative 10 to 10. That's what, when you press window, that's what these values are re referring to. And the scale is 1. That's how the tick marks are. They go by 1's. So again, back to a vertical line test. You try as best you can. You only can hit it once. So this one is a function. I put this one in so I can show you where absolute value is. So go back to y equals and clear. If you go to math, an absolute value works on a number. Go over to number and it's the very first thing. Now if you have the new operating system, you actually will have the nice little absolute value um, bars. But if you don't, what you'll see is ABS with a parentheses. You put X in here and you close it. It does the exact same thing. Ask it to graph. So the D right here was an absolute value. And if that's a function, this is a function. Interval notation. 
is a convenient notation for number line graphs instead of using inequality notation. Express the following in interval notation. It is to your advantage if you will graph these. So in this one, I locate negative 5. When you have a greater than or a less than on the graph, use an open dot. So I'm going to put an open dot on negative 5. I want my x values to be greater. If your x value, and you only have a single inequality, if your x value is on the left, how the arrow is pointing is the way you shade. Now for interval notation, you have to have a starting and in a way where given direction as to where the line is going. This thing just keeps going and keeps going and that's called positive infinity. So to write this down, we do negative 5 to infinity and we have to close it like a statement. And open dots and infinities always have parentheses. Always. This one. Notice it's a less than or equal to. So if you have greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, use a close dot. So I'm going to put my close dot on 2. Notice it's going this way. If going to your right is positive infinity, going to your left is negative infinity. So my shading starts, you sort of scan, shading starts negative infinity, and I use a parentheses, and it goes up to 2. Now open dots and closed dots are different. The only time you use what's called a bracket is when you have a closed dot. Let's try this one. Where is x with respect to these two numbers? Hopefully you said in the middle. So if you start scanning, my shading starts at negative 3, it goes to 1, open dots, parentheses, close dot is bracket. So we've got just a few more problems with these. Here I've given you the graph. So I'd like you to do interval notation and inequality notation. So do those. Pause me real quick. You can put a union or an or. So that's it for this particular um, section. I do have a little bit more, but that's it for this particular part of this homework. Thank you.